This country has a major gap in its digital workforce and it needs a new approach to fix it. With most jobs now requiring digital skills, we need over one million people working in the tech sector by 2025. That means finding, training up an additional 280,000 people. That's where the Digital Skills Organisation comes in. CEO Patrick Kidd talks about the need to address Australia's digital skills challenges, which impact every business and every worker. Really what we're focused upon is about making sure that the economy has the people that they need with the right digital skills to enable them to realise their own potential, but also for companies to maximise their potential. To reach that potential, DSO believes we need an innovative approach across all areas. We have to work with employers first and foremost because we need to understand what they need. We have to work with learners because we're trying to open up opportunities for those learners to take up and become energised and to realise the potential that comes from being digitally skilled. But we've also got to work with the training providers to ensure that what they're doing is connecting digital training to the people that they are training, irrespective of whether or not it's for a digital profession or actually any other type of role. The DSO works with all stakeholders to create clear learning pathways throughout the ICT industry. The AIIA says it's a critical role in mapping out what skills we have, what skills we need and how to get us there. The Digital Skills Organisation plays an important role in executing a national skills strategy. So the role is about understanding our requirements and the needs, meeting the needs and of course uh, where the demand is and then what constitutes proper education, qualifications, certifications to in fact meet that demand. It means everyone being on the same page with a clear pathway through training to employment. So we believe at the DSO we need to simplify but not dumb it down. We need to think about pathways through the lens of all different types of learners, whether you are new to digital and you're looking at literacy or fluency, or whether you're at the mature end of a digital professional. The need is to create a technically competent workforce and to grow it quickly. Here in the Cremorne Tech Precinct in Inner Melbourne, the DSO is accelerating the training of digital professionals. DSO has partnered with the Kangan Institute to support the big tech companies which inhabit the suburb by training up its future digitally skilled workforce. Kangan Institute CEO Sally Curtin, who oversees the project, agrees the skills shortage is critical. As we're speaking with our neighbours here in Cremorne, they're telling us there's a huge gap in skills in digital skills in particular. And so we're looking to try and solve that gap and, and fill that gap through listening to industry. Sally says she is excited to be involved and working to overcome any project challenges. We're effectively pioneering and innovating here, listening to industry, applying it, trialling it, learning. We're gonna to have to keep evolving with this program. And from DSO, a final call to action. It's first and foremost, you need to recognise that you've got to invest in upskilling your people to help them get the digital skills that they need. For the learners, I need you to understand that actually there is a place in digital for everybody. It's not just something that is for a small number of people within the economy. And for the training providers, it's about you recognising that you have to take responsibility to impart digital skills to everybody who comes through your doors.